Dawson's Rambles. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with more Power Rangers news today from the Fan First Friday. This time focusing on toys. I have both Dino Fury toy updates and Lightning Collection. Let's start with the Dino Fury ones just because there's a little bit less and we kind of already knew about some of the Lightning Collection stuff from leaks a bit. So we got a closer look at the Megazords. Last time they showed us a prototype look at just sort of the gray model and this time they had physical prototype looks. And they said that's where they're at at the process. If this is Bandai, the part in the process we'd be at is they would have been out of Christmas. Sorry, I had to throw that shade. Anyway, they do look really good. We got a look at the T-Rex Champion Zord in his Megazord mode. Little looks at all of the various ones they showed. Black and green. A um, couple quick shots of pink and blue. I don't think I managed to nab a shot of pink, but they all look very good. I mean, some of them, like pink and blue, are very basic in the first place, so it's pretty hard not to, you know, get that right. And I feel like there's probably still going to be purists that are like, Oh my god, he didn't paint the elbow! Japan's better at everything! But I think it looks really cool, especially with how acrobatic the mecha are in the Sentai footage, and this really reflects that, and I think they got the core details. I think it looks really cool. I'm actually really excited for it. And the, the heads even have articulation, which I've mentioned in numerous toy reviews how I think head articulation can make all the difference in giving a Zord personality, even for a Zord or a figure that might just be stationary. If you can turn its head, it just gives it personality. So I like that. And they also do still function as keys. You can take them out. You have to take the little helmet piece off and there's a little ranger sculpt in there. But then they do work and they kind of seem like a midway point between the keys we've seen with the Morpher and the figures and the Resoles. So it's like an evolutionary chart. You have the ones that come with the figures, the ones in the Zords, and then up here's the Resoles in terms of what they look like. And that kind of makes sense because I figured part of the reason the ones that are so cheap that we've seen is because they're going to include them with all the figures and it would cost more to include more molded ones with the figures. But that still makes me wish that they would have included one of these better looking ones with the Morpher since it's a deluxe item. And then the flat little hologram ones are fine for just the figures. But whatever. It confirms that you still have a bit of that cross gimmick going on just like you did with Ryu Soldier. And the helmets all look good. We got to look at I think black and blue and green. And, and for me they all look pretty good. Um, they showed off a little bit of the Five Nights combo and all that stuff. Uh, they confirmed again how they come out. I don't know if she misspoke, but in the the toy releases we found, it said that green and black and pink and blue are together, but she mismatched them and said like blue and green and pink and black or something like that. I don't know if they changed it and they are going to be mismatching blue and pink and black and green where they cross come out. Um, she might have misspoke, so I don't know about that as of this video, but pretty much what we knew though is Red's going to be on his own and then two two packs so far. And then another bit of significant news is we did get the name for Gold Rangers Mecha or or Meg, not, maybe not the Megazord, but at least the Mecha is going to be called the Moza Razor Zord. That's a pretty cool name. It made me immediately think of the Motorola Razor. It was also funny because she asked him, like, are there any other Zords coming out beside this? And he's like, well, I don't want to spoil anything. It's not as if he showed all the Zords and armors in the trailer. And then right after this, they showed the trailer. So... Anyway, that was that. I think the Zords look really cool. I'm looking forward to them when we eventually get them. There were also a couple other, like, non-Lightning, non-Dino Fury related tidbits, like the Super 7 Megazord. They showed a clear version of this, like, well, Megazord figure, and you can kind of see the cockpit inside. They said later on there's also going to be a colored version coming out. And then they showed off the reaction figures, which I think people found the listings for those, like, on Toy Wiz or something a while back. They just showed off... Um, red and green, but they said other ones are coming, obviously the other rangers, as well as some other more um, niece picks like Pudgy the Pig and whatnot. Now for Lightning Collection, all we got was the reveal of Wave 9, which will be up Probably already have been up by the time this video goes out, but they're up today everywhere You can pre-order them on Hasbro Pulse or one of the places that'll get it to you earlier and so we have Bridge, SPD Green Ranger, which is probably the one I'm most excited for, mainly because not only do I love Bridge, but I like the idea of, of being able to put his head on both the blue and red ranger figures, most notably red because of Once a Ranger and whatnot, so I think that's really cool. I think he looks really good just from glancing at it. I don't have any problems with the head sculpt, both human and ranger, so I'm excited for that. Not to mention it gets us one step closer to competing the SPD team. I think all we need now is yellow, right? And then not only do we have the core 5, but we have all core 7. So that's actually really cool. And then we have Kai, uh, the Lost Galaxy Green Ranger, our second main Lost Galaxy Ranger, third overall County Magnet Defender, who I also think looks really good. The photo they showed only shows the folded up Quasar Saber, and that looked wrong. That's what she said. But when he held it up, he did have the regular one, so I think it comes with both. But again, I think the head sculpt and the helmet sculpt on that one both look good. 
Then you have Carlos in Space Black, which I'm also looking forward to because In Space is my favorite season, and again, it continues to fill out In Space. That's our third core In Space Ranger, and you know, there's been a lot of In Space stuff released when you count the Psychos and whatnot, but it continues to add to it, so I think this is a good way for continuing to build. And then the other one is the Tangle Warrior, which is our second, our second, right? Well, I guess third, if you count Putties and Z Putties as separate entities, but our second or third um, henchman of the week, and I like the Tangas, and I think it's a good looking figure. I'm kind of more eager to get more Rangers and I, I guess the monster slots will be taken up in the monsters line so you know I think this one looks good but I'm more excited for the Rangers and I think it's overall a solid wave um, like I think the Tang is decent um, the other three like I said I'm looking forward to in space and SPD and I think that they're they're doing a good job in these last few waves at pointing them towards the direction of completing Ranger teams, which is nice while also giving you some variety. Like I said, I'm probably most excited about Bridge because you can do those things with red and blue and whatnot. And fortunately, it doesn't seem like it comes with a buttery figure, so that's not so buttery. But yeah. What do you guys think? What do you think of the Dino Fury Zords we saw? What do you think of Lightning Collection Wave 9? Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can get my videos. Dawson Rider, signing out.